I know I'm pretty late to the party when it comes to reviewing the latest book of Infinity Train, but I mean, I couldn't help myself. I really have enjoyed this series for the past two books, and like, I didn't want to wait that long to watch another episode if I really liked it. So, because like, this series just keeps getting better and better with each book. And so, I, yeah, it's like I just wanted to hold off and wa wait till like all the episodes were released on HBO Max and then, you know, watch all of them one by one um, on my own time. And so today I'll be reviewing book one, episode one or book three, episode one, my bad. <laughs> and uh, this episode starts off with reintroducing us to the Apex, a group of misfits aboard the Infinity Train that were originally introduced in a minor role in season two. As they're destroying a musical car and terrorizing the residents as they usually do, there's like this whimsical music playing in the background, which is like really weird as opposed to like what's going on on screen as they're like terrorizing everybody on the car. And so it was a really, uh, I don't know, I thought it was like pretty fun way of like reintroducing us to the Apex and uh, starting off the episode so afterwards they have a little downtime until they go out yet again to ravage or to destroy and cause havoc on another car a turtle car and the apex make their move and begin to do their usual thing like i said before start messing things up and taking things for themselves until the turtle car starts to you know lift up in the air from its position or shift as it's referred to in the episode and it prompts the Apex to retreat. A majority of them do actually make it out, uh, all except for Grace and Simon, the leaders of the Apex, due to Grace um, helping out Simon because he had sustained an injury prior, or like while this um, whole shifting thing was going on and the car was shaking and Grace helped out Simon and uh, Grace pulls out her poom pack with Simon by her side to help make their escape. But one of the cords snapped and they barely they barely make it out of the um, turtle car but uh, they successfully do it I mean they uh, make it out of the car and like they land on um, the railing leading from the turtle car to the car that, uh, that Grace had just attached those cords to they escape and they make it out safely but the only problem is is that their harpoon pack is broken and now they have to travel by foot and that's not where it stops right there. According to Simon, they're about like 47 cars away from the mall car. So not only do they um, have to travel by foot, but they have to travel 47 cars to get back home to their um, mall car. So I'm excited to where, what kind of journey that these two will go on and like how it would like change them and shape them. Like Grace and um, Simon as they go on this journey and um, see what kind of people they will uh, turn out to be towards the end of the series. and or who they'll meet just like Tulip and just like um, Lake or MT and um yeah so that's pretty much like my review of episode one of book three for Infinity Train and um yeah let me know if y'all got if y'all have seen it already and remember to like and subscribe and to hit that notification bell to always stay on top of like what kind of videos I'm producing and stuff like that and I will see you guys in the next video next time thanks and have a great day bye